They argue over semantics, and it ends up being a disaster. Welcome to another episode of This Goose is Cooked, where we review books intended for our future generations. Today's book, Doc, by Meg McKinley, illustrated by Nathaniel Ekstrom, published by Candlewick Press. Doc is a story that takes place on a farm. It follows an informed and caring duck warning his fellow farm animals of the impending doom. But all they do is talk down to him and demean him. Meg did a great job with her writing. She included some rhymes and kept the book entertaining with a little sense of humor thrown in. Nathaniel portrayed Meg's words wonderfully and did a good job capturing the barnyard animal's emotions. The story opens on a quiet day on the farm, and all the animals are laying around or grazing. Then this little duck comes running in, creating a ruckus, screaming, Doc! And this cocky horse is the first one to confront the duck. He says, I quote, No, no. You're mistaken, my friend. You're a duck. I'm a horse, you see. You see you're small and waddly, and I'm noble and tall. Geez, this guy isn't a narcissist at all. Noble and tall? Give me a break. You can clearly tell the duck is frantic. Is he trying to warn them of something? Is someone in trouble? The horse doesn't care. He just puts the duck down and argues semantics with the duck. So the duck moves on yelling, Duck! Again. And the cow comes up and does the same thing the horse does. He changes the topic to the duck and makes fun of him. And this pattern continues with a pig and a sheep. They all make fun of him and say he is wrong or stupid. It's clear who this book is calling out. This book is a direct shot at Twitter trolls. When someone says something that is factually correct, instead of trying to debate that person, they come in and point out a misspelled word or a missing comma or start defining words, calling that person stupid. They completely change the subject because they know they'll lose the actual debate. Sorry, just because you are a language arts warrior in fourth grade doesn't make you intelligent. In fact, changing the topic and completely running from the substance of the debate makes me think otherwise. These are people who are upset with themselves, so they take their hate out online, and they think they're heroes for doing it. Okay, back to the duck. He starts getting frustrated, yelling, Doc! over and over again. Then the gang of internet trolls gang up on the duck, putting him down again. And the yelling goes from zero to a hundred real fast. And the barnyard animals jump all the way to assuming he's a bigot and give him a lecture on how everyone is different and how not everyone is a duck. They tell him to just accept it. And every time he tries to interject and say they are missing the point, he just gets cut off. They continue to shout him down and call him rude. When finally the duck gets a word in and apologizes, saying, okay, I shouldn't have used that word. He says, I quote, I should have used RUN! And all the barnyard animals get smoked by what looks like to be a tornado with a whole bunch of crap in it, like benches and siding. Hilarious redemption for the duck. Clever twist with the words by the author. If those animals would have taken the time to listen and break down the context of what the duck was saying to actually duck, they might not be lying under a pile of rubble. Playing a little bit of devil's advocate, one could argue that both sides were in the wrong, because of the ducks shouting. It incited the defensive reactions from the animals. But I'm firmly on the duck's side. That dude was just trying to save lives. This book's moral could not have been more clear. Don't be triggered by everything you hear. And don't revert to trolling and name calling when you don't understand what the person is trying to say. When you group up on someone and label them and call them names and argue semantics or point out someone's misuse of grammar, It's not productive, and it's you who's going to get burned in the end. I believe the author really captured a moral of the times. And the play on duck versus duck was hilarious. Her writing flowed effortlessly, and the illustrator really captured the animals in a fun, cartoony way. And his soft use of colors kept the pages appealing to the eye. So on a scale from one to five, I'm going to give this book a four. I'll have the full bird. Or should I say, Doc, this goose 
is cooked. Join us next time for another in-depth book review.